on the black opera. Like, yeah, what, what happened? <laughs> hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brie Brack, going live with the Brie Talk and Bay Squad. We have got to talk about your favorite problematic cosplay black woman, Cardi B. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fifth if you can water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? Whoever want to talk, let me pick her. It goes invite. Do I press invite to speak? Or I don't know how to do this yet. Let me just make sure. Hold on. Invite to speak. Who else requested? All right. I requested. Okay. Add as speaker. I hope you ain't no trouble, motherfucker. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, all right, all right. If anybody um requests, I know how to do it. All right, I just came on here to chat a little bit. Just, just a, a little, little, little bit. I see this person requested and as a speaker. All right, so I know how to add them as a speaker. So I just want to get into a couple of things because at the end of the day, I see I got people real mad. People real mad. And one thing I don't do, I don't fucking, I don't, read people with lies at all i've never been a fucking type i've never been the type to read people with lies bitch i'm gonna give you the motherfucking facts okay let's get into it before i get into what's going on down today i'm gonna start a little bit back first of all nobody's gonna dictate how the fuck i run my fucking page okay Y'all can do all that shit. Y'all been doing that shit for a whole bunch of fucking years. Y'all not going to dictate how the fuck I run my page, okay? That's number one. Y'all can go pay and bully all those fucking other bloggers. The Shade Room, The Neighborhood Talk, Baller Alert, Hollywood and Lot, Tilt Face Barbie. You can do all that shit over there, but you can't do it over here. That's number fucking one, Okay? I find it a real coincidence, a real, real, real coincidence. I'm going to just show y'all the pattern, right? This bitch always having niggas to go do bitch shit, but she had the nerve today to come online and try to sub take her bang talking about, oh, niggas addressing me. That's the only thing you do, bitch. You're known for sending niggas to fight bitches. You don't know how to fight your own battle. Sending niggas to try to bully bloggers and thinking they're going to be okay with it. It's not going to happen. Okay. It started from a couple weeks ago when Tasha K had posted, um, no, before that I had did a random post saying, I'm happy that an ice spice didn't put nobody on munch. She sent that two face nigga over there to start with me. So I was like, okay. So it's going back and forth with him, right? The Tasha K situation happened. I reposted it. Ironically, my post started going more viral than Tasha K's actually post. Then he comes over here. First, he started with Tasha K. Then he come and started with me. He started with somebody else and keep on going and going. So I said, go sing your massa. Bitch is mad because we post the content that the paid blogs like Jason Lee and Tilt Face and them won't post. Like, for instance, I guarantee you none of those motherfuckers posted her ass throwing the mic, right? You're not going to have me over here, motherfucker, only posting good shit. This is not a fan page. This is not a fan page. If you want a fan page, go make a fucking fan page and you fucking go over there and run the shit. You ain't going to run my shit. That's number two, okay? Then here it comes. She comes in my comment section because the day when she was cursing out her fans and then I recorded her spaces and then she going to come in my thing talking about Barty Scoop. No, bitch, you wish it was a Barty Scoop. You wish this was some fucking type of body scoop. You wish that you had me motherfucking control like a fucking leech like you got all these other motherfuckers. I'm not excited like these other fucking YouTubers who be fucking flip-flopping. Oh, hey, I like this person to get a motherfucking party invite. Bitch, none of that shit fazed me. None of that shit fucking fazed me. Go get and know what you got to do. And you some weird bitch. She's some weird bitch and nobody be calling her out by her, uh, her undercover homophobia. You the only bitch that be calling people twinks, glitter bottoms, but your whole team is full of gay men. A whole bunch of gay men. But then you be having a gay men do the work. No, bitch. You come out here to do the work. Number two, she got mad because the fucking fans is over there eating her the fuck up, talking about, oh, she don't like her fans and did it this and that. That's not my fucking problem. And what y'all not going to do is get mad when the blogs post 
the shit that the artist is motherfucking posted and deleted. Do you know how many motherfucking female rap girls that I was fucking cool with and got mad when I don't post and delete? No, because I'm going to run my page. I don't give a fuck about a friendship. A friendship could go out the motherfucking window because you bitches ain't friends. You bitches want to come be cool with blogs and want blogs to be posting like they are fan page. The same shit you try to do with motherfucking the shade room, which say your ass was acting all big and bad, talking about, I'm going to drop this, I'm going to drop this audio. But once the shade room say, okay, bitch, make sure you drop that whole 10 minutes and let's see what the world say when they see who you was talking about. Your scary ass hurry up and delete it there and wanted to talk like woman. Why? Why? Why you didn't want people to hear that conversation? Because your whole fucking career is built off of sympathy, payola, obsession, and copying. Everything. Every fucking thing. You're a built bitch. Like people say, a plant bitch. You're a built a motherfucking plant to come over here. But guess what, baby? You are not true to yourself. You can't write. You can't rap. You can't keep a man, bitch. You can't do a nothing. And let's not talk. Let's, let's, let's get into a couple of things. This bitch is so insecure that she has to go, number one, still shot fucking photos of a screenshot and pictures from 2009 on fucking Facebook from my grandmother's page. Bitch, don't play with me because I got your family too. I got your aunt on Sedwick. I got your grandmother. I got where you just live. So don't don't play none of these little threatening games, bitch. You never said where you just moved inside Jersey, bitch. You never say you got the two you got you got dykes in front of your your, your shit, right? You got dykes as security as well, too, right? Stop fucking playing these games. Oh my god. Stop playing stop playing these internet games, okay? And then now you about to get Poe into some shit. And let's 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 get into something too. Another thing. Wait, who is Cole? Who is Cole? I don't we no, don't know. Poe, who is Poe. Poe, his name is Paparazzi Poe. The same nigga who insinuated that he was writing for Cardi B when he was on that Jack TV interview. Cardi B got mad. Something went on magically a couple of months later. Zach TV Zamboos. Okay? But let's 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 let's, let's get into some things, okay? You already are saying that I said that I saying that I know you. I never said nowhere on here you can say that I say I know you. I said, bitch, we went to the same school, and it's true. You're not gonna tell me, bitch. Do I gotta pull out my fucking yearbook? I said the school, and when I told her what school I went to, she go, "You want a cookie, bitch? No, do you want a cookie? You're the one denying me what school I fucking went to. When I say what block I'm from, this man." Oh, Google, bitch. I don't have to Google. You're not Googleable. You're not Googleable. Trust me, baby. Trust me. Then I clock a T where I used to live and do that. We go back and forth. Number two, I end up bringing up Poe, right? And then she going to, I said, no, I brought up Tommy. She going, how you claiming you're from Highbridge, but you over there, you over there saying that you cool with Tommy. The same reason how you saying you from Highbridge and you cool with Poe, knowing niggas want that nigga head. The same way how you saying you from Highbridge, allegedly, and you're not. Because, bitch, if you wasn't born there, you're not from there. You're not from there. You said you was born in 180th and Wharton. That's not Highbridge. That's not Highbridge. And you dumb bitch. I said I was born in motherfucking Highbridge, and I was raised in Harlem. I said I'm not. And I even got that, that fucking quote stool up. I said... Even though I was born in Highbridge, I'm not going to just be like, oh, I'm from Harlem. No, bitch, I'm going to say where the fuck I'm from. So that's the same nigga that Star Brim says she wanted to park his motherfucking ride when he ended up trying to set change. Bloods just can't set change. Bloods just can't pick up today and say, hey, I, I want to be a, I want to be part of this game. You can't do that, bitch. Wait, so are you blood too? No, I'm not blood, but my father's an OG. That's why I said bitches get real crazy. Mm. Just say my brother, my father's name around Highbridge. My father's an OG. Started this shit in mm. Attica before the shit even came to New York City. That that's what it is. Oh wow. That that, that that's what it is, bitch. So when we playing all these extra little games, bitch, I'm not none of the ones to fucking play with. Never have been. And then bitches get so mad and be like, oh, this and that. You don't know this and that. I can smell the tea, bitch. When the shade rule and them used to motherfucking clock the tea about you and Tommy, bitch, I've been with sending that before I was even a fucking blogger since I don't know it all. Since I don't fucking know it all. Number two is I hate this bitch that try to act like she got some information. And I'm going to show y'all because I got this other person investigation. Cardi B got this old lady. Is this old bitch. Her name.
office official, what was it? Official denominator. Then she changed the shit to uh K Reed. She changed the shit to Queen K. Now one of the pages Steve Cole. But that lady been stalking Nicki Minaj and her family for years. Not only that she stalked Nicki Minaj and her family, any blogger, anybody who people see that they have their favor and they like for Nicki Minaj. She automatically stopped. There's no reason why she's been stalking over seven bloggers and YouTubers within all these minor years on the behalf of Cardi B. And she the one who she trying to search up people's stuff. Bitch, I got your shit. And that's why I said I've been hitting to y'all. This shit is about to get real nasty and everything's going to fall back to Cardi B. And I'm not going to lie. Cardi B, I got too many people with verified checks who fuck with me, bitch. They're already on the phone trying to get a lawyer. You about to give me some coins. We're going to play. We're going to play a game. Just because you had your sin post pictures and trying to so-called dox me it was your order just like it was out of your mouth order trying to make a man fight these bartenders and these people bitch you're gonna see and i'm gonna have the last laugh i'm gonna have the last laugh secondly i just got off the phone with lemonade man because when she was trying to act and keep on saying i don't know people bitch yes i do i don't have nothing to prove to you and i keep on name dropping this and this one he over there he over there copping, please, not even copping, please. I got audio of Poe when Lemonade Man just caught him. Poe is copping, please, now. Poe just fed you a whole bunch of lies. Lemonade Man never spoke to you on the phone. But I got you on audio. Oh, I was speaking to him. He said this and this and that about you. Anybody can make up lies, bitch. Because when a bitch said I was a stripper, I never, I never, I never had the motherfucking shake ass. Was I a bartender before that shit got lit? Yes. And then when I said mousy, ask Foxy Brown. Ask fucking Foxy Brown your motherfucking self, you dumb bitch. Just because I don't pin myself out here, just because I don't just be all up in the face. But I was that girl before you was that girl. Okay? The difference between me and you, bitch, you not, you not your original self. You not your original face, not your original fucking body. You not even who the fuck you want to be. And I always hate when it comes down to these. I don't care. And Listen, I'm not racist. I got Spanish. I got Dominicans. I got white people, everybody in my fucking family. But what I'm about to say is what I'm about to say. It's always these Spanish bitches who be sucking on black dick who be fucking hating on black women. It's not going to be a coincidence. It's always a coincidence. She trying to go at the dark skin, brown skin bloggers, and you want to try to throw shade in your insult. Bitch, you are not You are not secure with yourself. You are not secure with yourself. Your whole face do not look like the original face, but then you trying to look like somebody. And let's be it. I'm going to clock this teeth. Bitch, you can tell that you've been trying to look like Nikki, Jaden, Sweetie, your whole motherfucking insistence, bitch. All three bitches that your nigga lust and wish you motherfucking Fly ass. Kid. Okay? Bitch, you look like a motherfucking... Could you, like, let's stop. You taking bitches doctor picture thing. Hold on. I need the slant of eyes from here. Let me give Jay's face shake. Hold on. I need that little bump in the nose. Stop fucking playing with me. You not secure with yourself, bitch. Look at all your fucking music that been coming out lately. You lucky I ain't put up the collage fucking cocking you, bitch. Talking about talking all that rah-rah, bitch. You know what the fuck you got that from. All that rah-rah never been. You know where the fuck that come from. But you over there sucking dick. I never heard this bitch say zesty a day in my life. But over there talking about he acting zesty. Yeah, bitch, where the fuck you got that from? Your whole lingo the other day. Oh, you been a fan. Yeah, bitch, you been a fan because you been studying. Been studying like all these other bitches been. You the type of single white female bitch that's not secure with yourself. And you mad because you can't be the bitch you want to be. You mad because you can't be the bitch you want to be. No matter no. what, that Grammy, that number one, all the motherfucking surgery, you still fucking box, you still ugly, your nigga still cheating on you, your pussy still don't hit. That pussy still don't hit. It still don't hit. Okay? And shout out to you because you didn't have to strip to get the pole. I, I, I never girl. did. I, she just I, really I never did. And uh, talking about and then you're going to try to shade and go, oh, you said Mousy. You said, oh, Mousy had to get you a a, a, a gig. That means you wasn't even cute enough. Then it is not because cute bitches. But then your friend, the one who said that you had the B2K bump, bump, bump on side of your lip. Got you your job? Oh, you wasn't cute enough. You wasn't cute enough, Miss Bump Bump Bump. Oh, okay. She the one who picked you on. Oh, and Shay. Shay, you got her good when you told that bitch. 
You talking about I live in the projects, but bitch, your nigga was slinging dick all the exactly. time. Exactly. was living through the projects. I used to live in 505. Jaden them live right across from me, 445. They know who the fuck I am. So he must like And your nigga pussy, was on their pussy lips, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? And you was mad. You was mad because guess what? You a rising star. How the fuck you look that that your nigga over there wanted that project pussy? He wanted that project pussy. He didn't want you because you a hand me down. And let's get inside of it. Let's get in the real tea. Bitch, Tommy was pimping your ass, bitch. You was stripping and you was handing over money. You was shaking your ass. He was helping you get gigs because I'm not going to lie. Tommy's lit. He was a lit popping. Woo, child, base squad. I have to go live now because what a mess. And we love the mess. At the end of the day, Bell Kanana should have tried it with someone else. See, the problem with a lot of the women and men who think like Bell Kanana, they think us bloggers are just nobodies. Like, we don't have plugs, we don't have connections, and we don't have insight. And that's the real gag because everybody is somebody to somebody. But what are your thoughts, Bays? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, host.